Alrighty, mega exciting day today. We are heading south, like right down south. So we're still currently uh, just outside of Bunbury here. We're at a, a still at Parent Estate here. So by now you guys would have seen our uh, rundown on a new van and you would have seen that uh while well, we have no awning. We have an awning. <laughs> so yeah, we're just uh, we're just literally all packed up now. We're just waiting. Uh, we're actually just waiting for someone to come and pick up uh, the old awning actually. <laughs> so it's a bit of a shame. I put it on a buy soft sale last night and it's a really shame because again the whole actual canister show you on the ground here the, that whole part of it like the canopy and all that is still brand new <laughs> so i put up for 50 bucks the actual awning itself is fine yeah so it's like an 800 dollars thing i'm giving away for 50 dollars but just we we need to we need to hit the road we don't have a shed you know we can't just go take it home can't so chuck it on the roof it's rack no uh so it's just a convenience they're going to come and uh take it and move on for us so massive shame there still not sure what the uh resolution for this is it only just happened only, only it's happened yesterday, so uh, not not in a bother. It's just we're just so keen to get out of here and uh, start heading down south. So, is what it is. It can it can always be worse. If so, if you see us and we look really sunburnt, you'll know why. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't it shouldn't be no drama. You usually still get a bit of shade anyway. It actually, kind of actually kind of looks pretty sleek uh, without it. It kind of <laughs> kind of looks pretty. Dull. At least it's not it's not that noticeable, which is good. But again, we've massively enjoyed our time here. Uh, so we're just gonna head in the Bunbury today, get some supplies, and yeah, head down near Pemberton. So there's the Yeager up, uh, I think it's uh, called the full drive track and the beach down there. Been really, really keen to go check that out. So that's uh, everyone been saying that it's meant to have the longest uh, beach exit in Australia. They they claim so keen to get down there. Again, we're getting itchy feet to uh, get down there, get it done, and get across east. So. But we're sick of this wind, but going south isn't going to help no, the wind situation. It's just going to make it make it worse. But SA is going to be windy as well. But yeah, we are getting pretty keen to, to start heading, heading east. But for now, we're packing up. We're done. We're excited to be on the road doing big days again. So yeah. It's going to be a drive today. It'd be cool. Yeah, it's going to be a couple hundred k's. But yeah, we're excited to definitely uh, uh, bank some k's. Alrighty, we're coming out to the Warren National Park today. So we're, we're heading out here. We're going to go out to uh, the Yeager Up Dunes and Cole Cup Hills. So. I've seen so many videos about this, so many, so many people telling us to come down here. So this is uh, where the, well, I don't know if it's official or what. There's, there's official claims, there's non-official claims. It's meant to be uh, one of the one of the steepest steepest beach exits uh, in Australia. So it's about a about a kilometer, a little bit over of a of a quite a steep, uh, long, soft uh, beach exit. So down the beach is meant to be pretty soft as well. So we've got a got a, a hot day today too. So there's been no rain for ages. So I do expect it to be. Uh, to be pretty soft so we're sitting at the pay, pay station here uh, we're about to go over there and pay our, uh, pay our park fees uh, there's an air down bay here so i'm assuming the tracks uh, aren't too far away but yeah the first thing is there's going to be a little bit of a forest track through here we don't really know much at all we literally just sort of found our wiki camps rocked up this took us here uh, we just wing it that's pretty much how we <laughs> how we do a lot of our stuff but again it's really excited to spend the day today do some soft dunes uh, and show you guys through i'm really expecting some nice uh, nice full driving coming up so we're still on our uh, doing our day pass here so it's 15 bucks uh, which is which is fine but finally a friggin a visa a visa way to pay we actually went and got uh got cash in town because a lot of the, a lot of the places we've been to um just have the sort of the envelope and you put the cash in if you don't have the right cash like it's just a it's just a pain in the ass it literally feels like you're buying a uh a parking ticket uh, doing a ticket a ticket thing for the car park uh what am i doing oh yeah it's a 15 bucks i wear that's got an air ba uh, air down bay here so we're about to uh, air down and the, the dunes are just over here so all the videos we've watched that, I'm so keen to get out there and have a go. What's the pressures today, boss? 16. 16? Yeah, I don't know. All right, got a nice little uh, forest drive on the way here. This is, this is, we're just talking, this is really reminding us of, uh, of Lake Mackenzie on Fraser Island. You've got that real nice forest drive. Uh, we've got the lake just next to us and I can just see through the horizon here now, uh, the Eager Up Dunes. So this is absolutely awesome. We've only seen one car, he was, uh, he was airing up. So hopefully it might be a little bit of a, a, little bit of a quiet day. We're about to enjoy, enjoy a few areas out here to ourselves. Straight into it. We've just come out of, popped out of the forest. Huge sand dune right here. So we're popping the drone up just to make sure, popping the drone up just to make sure no one else is on the other side of that hill and uh, send the big girl up. I'm gonna get a good workout today, running up and down sand dunes. 
absolutely beautiful out here. And again, that's it's got, mine's a little bit of road to beach, but I know we always talk about that. But it's, it's got the got the markers along here. You meant to just uh, follow through. It gives you a track through. Uh, you can see a lot of people don't listen to that. There's uh, there's quite a few tracks uh, tracks going anywhere. But yeah, it's quite a uh, quite bumpy. And again, um, a little bit of a soft spot there uh, because it is so hot today. Um, yeah, the sand is really soft. Like we've gone to 16. Obviously, it's heating up. You know, summer at 17 at the moment, but. And once you get to these bigger climbs, I'm gonna uh, definitely go down to that sort of 15, I reckon. down the beach here now what a drive it is it's nice uh, nice flowing down there through the uh through the sort of back of the beaches there and then uh, onto the beach and look this is soft again it's high 30 degrees today so it's quite uh quite warm out here and uh definitely soft so just uh up there i just add down to everything will sort of heat up to about that 18 piece so i went down to 14 so trying to try and keep it around there definitely made a little bit of difference um but yeah got the warren river up there which is um absolutely beautiful spot there's a little bit worried because uh, i think apparently in winter uh, it, sometimes obviously it's fuller, depending on tides and as well, it uh, can be impassable there. But at the moment there's a nice, uh, nice big spot that goes through that's on the sand and no dramas. So Cold Cup Hill is just up here. This is the main reason we've come down here. It's one of those, one of those things I want to tick off, the, tick off the list to say I've driven it. Uh, come check it out. But these beaches along here, the waves are magic, the, uh, the colours are, are magic. Hot day, so definitely go for a swim. I'm not gonna go too deep. I'm still uh, really worried about sharks and all, and all that stuff down here. So, a little bit of a dip there, but it's gonna cook up some, uh, cook up some lunch quickly. Then go uh, head up this hill. All right, Cold Cup Hill. We're finally here. We've seen all the videos, all the staff ourselves. It's down here. It's hot. It's mid 30 degrees. Sand is extremely soft. It starts right here at the beach. Y62 patrol, uh, 15 psi. Let's go. That's the first bit time. We got a little bit of flat ground here. Then we're onto the uh, onto the next uh, big long exit. Alright, so next bit done, got a bit of a bit of a decline here, and it looks like we're straight back into a big climb. <laughs>
more times. One more. One more little bit there. <laughs> oh, that is grass. That is all horsepower. Especially when that is so soft like that. That is unreal. Holy heck, that was up there one of the most coolest things uh, well, we have done in this car again. This is one of those things the video will just not show you how long and steep this thing and how hot. I got me thongs on here. I can't even stand in the sand uh, with bare feet. But again, I actually think it's on the video as well. I mean, what's, what's all the fuss about? But like, that was steep. Like, that was, I was sort of fourth gear, uh, you know, really pinning it. But you can sort of hear it starting to die. Like, nearly had it. wouldn't let me downshift, but it nearly needed a downshift. So. Look at that view out there though. Like that is that is no joke though. Like if you're you know new to full driving and that again, we're out here by ourselves, which isn't uh you know ideal, but you have to do these things when you travel in Australia full time by yourself sometimes. But I uh, got all the recovery gear, but yeah, especially uh we definitely be good to go out camping with a mate. But at least if you don't make it, you can go back down, but you need to get off the beach somehow. So I know that I think there is a little bit easier spot, but I'm so <laughs> freaking glad we got the tick that one off the list. What a freaking ride, that was awesome. We've made it down near Denmark, so we've been hearing a lot about this place down here. And the, again, the weather today has just absolutely turned on. Slight little breeze coming through, but it's uh, it's absolutely magic. So we're just uh, starting to have a bit of a look around. So we're down, come down to uh, Lowlands Beach, it's called. So uh, we just had a look down at the car park there, and it's, uh, it's quite busy. But the, you can sort of get up there and see across the uh, out in the rocks here. The water that just looks friggin' magic out here. It looks absolutely beautiful. So. Sort of come back out, yeah, and we found a little bit of a uh, we had just a little bit of an entry into the trees, no signs, but uh, there's four drive tracks that go uh, up here onto the hills and out to a couple of the coasts there. So, whether you can get back down the beach and that, uh, I'm not sure, but just add the big girl down to just 20. Um, usually, going to about 16, but I think it's just a little bit of a, a drive along here just to, sort of, just to take care of the track and that stuff. But I've no idea what we're in for, but it looks like there's a nice little coaster drive through there, so uh, can to get there and have a bit of a look. <laughs> Turned out to be uh, to be fr pretty freaking cool. We've got a got a couple of bit of a climbs there, so it is quite soft, and the sand is uh, is is really really warm. So, but these are uh, these drives here, and I got no friggin' no run up. <laughs> Cold start. Oh uh, hell yeah! Probably should have had the tires down just a little bit more. Twenty, they're probably up to twenty. Oh, Jesus. Sand's very hot. <laughs> Makes a big difference, doesn't it? There we go. Check out these views out here to the side. This is just absolutely magic. Oh, this is why it pays us to get out on tracks and just get out and have a bit of a look. You never know where you're going to end up, and usually ends up being the uh, the best adventures. Right, we're taking a track down now. It's called Bum Rock. <laughs> this is what it's called. So, taking it really slow. These top tracks have just got the most blindest corners. So, we're declining at the moment. But if someone's coming the other way. Uh, it is quite soft, they're going to need momentum. Uh, they're going to just come straight around the corner, so... I'm trying to go as... Oh, Jesus. I'm trying to go as slow as I can. Yeah, these are, are very, very, very tight tracks. It's kind of picturing in my head of what to... What to expect. Rock. What, are, what, what are you sort is of thinking? Gonna, I think it's going to be like two curves and like a line. Like a <laughs> oh, I've got all sorts of things going on, but... Oh, I think we're nearly, nearly out here. I'm going to check out this bum. Oh wow, you literally just drive out onto a, a onto a rock ledge. <laughs> Looks like a bit of a tracker goes down to the to the right there. What a wow, you if you literally just drove forwards you would just drive like drive off. drive off, drive straight off.
have a look at this behind us. We took this, took that little track down to the right. Uh, looks like no one's driven it in a while. Uh, it was pretty, pretty bloody tight. It's actually pretty steep to get back out. So I'm gonna have to get a little bit of berries to get out. I'm gonna go down to 16 psi to get out. But this water down here is just crystal so clear. clear. So blue. Oh, it's making you want to just dive out there. But it's nice, uh, rocks, corally sort of stuff through there. Beautiful out here, all the water coming on the rocks. Just I can see what all the so hype pretty. is uh, about down here. This is a freaking magical spot. Well, I was getting my favorite, a, a four drive track uh, with a view. Again, we've got a little bit of a climb uh, out of here, just gone down to 15 PSI. But have a look at that backdrop out there, just this, this water and just, again, this is just why we love doing what we do, finding places like these. Kiwi and bush barriers. Yeah, bush barriers are getting a getting a fair test down here. Oh, this is the easy side, the left side. It's got the rubber matting on this side, on the other side, uh, when you went down out of the wombat holes, but didn't want to go up the wrong way in case someone was coming. <laughs> Look at that view, that's just magic. Oh, this just keeps getting better and better. We found a, we sort of continued on and found some other tracks and uh, again, some pretty steep ones to come down to here. There's no tracks on there. Awesome spot out here again. This just this, this is why this is why we have a four-wheel drive and sort of have a setup to do what we can do. Again, the tracks on here aren't you know you don't need a highly modified vehicle to do it, but not everyone wants to do it because you know it is sort of pretty pretty scary when it's a you know, nice steep uh, sandy tracks. But you get to places like this uh, to yourself. So back at the main car park there, you know it was packed full of cars. We've seen one other car out here uh, pass them on the road before. So like check out this behind us here down this little. Uh, Sort of little corner here, and it's these big swells coming through. Big swells going through with the rocks there. It's just uh, so powerful. So, again, I know more drone footage. I'm going to pop it up and show you where we've got the car parked up here. Along here is awesome. It's going to be a sick drive out. Absolutely loving it down here. A bit, a bit more of an angle than I thought that would have put a nice scratch on that rear bar. Whoopsies. Alrighty, time to get out of this place. Have a look at this friggin' scenery behind us. Keep saying it, but just, I haven't, have you experienced, we haven't, we haven't experienced like this before, have we? Beaches hey? like this. Oh, just, with these tracks down there, there's no one around and, oh, so we've got to follow the, oh, 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 got to follow the, uh, the rubber matting back up. That'd be a fair little step here, isn't it? Mm. You gotta stay right on the rubber stuff too, otherwise you get stuck. In those ruts. <laughs> it sounds like we're doing one massive skid on the way up. Seems like a little bit of a steeper. Exit up there, doesn't it? Yeah, the rubber matting looks like it's just gone and then just nice and steep. That right line would have been nice, but try and stick to your left where you. Yeah, we can. Yeah, the matting's been destroyed up here. Oh, it's soft. Oh. 
second, baby. Come on, give me a second. Uh, she wants third. Oh, she's rocky too. <laughs> we didn't make it. Oh no! I got stuck in uh, stuck in third, and she bogged down. So that's actually quite steep ahead yeah. there, isn't it? Yeah. All right, we're gonna have to uh, go back down a bit and get that on another crack. Wow. All right, just gonna back her up. It definitely looks like no one's driven this in a long time. At the top, there's a big, uh, big soft mound of uh, untouched sand. Yeah, but just it's so thin because it's so hot out here, but. Because you've got all these bloody big rocks here, you can't really just go bloody third gear pin through them. But we might have to. <laughs> we'll give it we'll give it one more go and try and keep the momentum. I don't know where I'm gonna go back and get this momentum I'm looking for. I'm gonna have to go right down the bloody end, I think. Alright, it's still quite steep. I'm gonna get a little bit of a run up, but we'll uh just pin it and see what happens. Take two. Guarantee you that that was way quicker than I would have ever wanted to do through those rocks, but <laughs> oh, that was what a friggin' drive, eh? <laughs> oh, that's definitely one of those moments where just on camera just does not look as steep as what it uh, actually was. That was uh, that was quite soft was for the crazy. for the big girl to go down, but yeah, that was uh. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. I think that's also a little bit of an indication maybe it's time to wrap it up for the day. So it's a little bit after lunch here. So we uh, we got a Zoom call for our online business at, uh, at uh, 3 o'clock. So we're going to go back, try and probably get some lunch and that. And then we're uh, going to get visit some friends. Oh, some friends later. We're still not out of it yet. Visit some friends later and then uh, gonna head down to yeah head down to Peaceful Bay. It's probably going to be the next, next spot we're going to have a look at. But just we're not spending as much time as we'd want to down here just because we're been in WA for so long now we're just really starting to to get across and just want getting pretty itchy to head into head into SA but just already I can't wait to come back here oh, can't spend more time such a beautiful place oh and we've just cop cop the nice weather like it's high 30s today which I think is pretty random for down here but I can see why everybody loves the southwest oh like. god Coming it's back beautiful. in the wetter months and that, just see all the forestry, it's just, ah, love it. All right, very exciting morning for us this morning. We're sitting here uh, on the laptop, we're actually on a, a, a Nagic uh, co a conference a call. Live conference call. Yeah, live con conference calls. This is meant to be a conference that was meant to happen uh, in Sydney. Um, what this is, we're actually receiving, this happened about probably three, four months ago. Uh, we actually hit a leadership role in a Nagic. This is our uh, direct selling business that we do online. This is how we travel uh that's our machine right up there our <laughs> medical certified water ionizer so this is how uh we travel full time and uh yeah we're actually on here now uh receiving our uh certificate for hitting a leadership role uh within the within the business so this when we started this business sort of 18 months ago uh we, we saw the people out there traveling full time at magic living the good life and like you know we we're not going to do that like but, you know yeah, we thought just you know Let's do it. What have we got to lose? Yeah, but just, yeah, we were introduced by one of our good friends. So it was an easy introduction. We're like, God, living that life would be absolutely magic. So here we are, 80 months later, in our brand new caravan at an amazing hip camp, traveling Australia full time, receiving a leadership role uh, with the Nagic, uh, a leadership uh, ad advancement. So it is absolutely awesome. It's a massive, massive achievement for us. So we're Hello. sitting down here, enjoying it, uh, just relaxing. Our uh, name's about to get called up shortly. So. Again, this is uh yeah we celebrated this three or four months ago, but again all the COVID stuff can't do uh you know conferencing mm. face to face I had to get cancelled, all that stuff. So hopefully but it's official now. It's official now, yeah yeah. So this is uh we're really uh, enjoying this morning. It's just yeah really massive, 
big achievement for us, and uh, we're, we're extremely proud. Joshua Lee Mertung. Yeah. Uh, how good is that? It's official. <laughs> it's official. Oh, that's freaking awesome. What a bloody achievement, eh? All right, we're doing a little bit of a day trip today. We've got a little bit of a convoy. So we've caught up with our uh, good mates, uh, Michael and Sarah from Ransom Off-Road. They've still done the same thing as we did, sold up everything on the east coast. Got a mammoth, just beast of a Ram 2500. This thing is just absolutely, absolutely amazing. Uh, met some new guys, uh, Jack and their family. They got, a, again, a beast of a Sandy Top uh, 79. So we now we come down here doing some, uh, doing a little bit of four drive and checking out the area down the uh, Peaceful Bay. So it's uh, magic down here. We've got a windy day today. That's the one facing this way. Trying to, trying to dodge the wind a little bit. We've had a really good run, run of the wind lately, but uh, it's definitely catch up as of today. So we're gonna go out, head, head out and check out some tracks. Uh, check out this coast along, along here. We've heard some awesome things. Awesome to be out with some friends today, meet new people. Uh, yeah, again, awesome convoy. So get out and do some full driving with some mates. I'm currently got a 79. Oh, geez, pulling me down the, <laughs> pulling me down the beach here. Oh, he's slowly moving. She's a mega, mega soft sand, that's for sure. <laughs> that is a lot of pressure. I need to chuck some recovery trucks under there. All right, he's tried chucking his lockers on now, but. Still just digging a hole. <laughs> We're gonna have to get some recovery boards under that, I reckon. <laughs> I've just managed to, to get out of there. It's nice and soft. Just trying to go nice, uh, nice and slow. Then get a bit of wheel track and then uh, then pin it. So just sort of repositioned. Uh, Mike is in charge of this recovery. So I'm just trying to just always let one person. They're in charge. Their rules. So got the property safety stuff there. So. Never love doing a big uh, winches behind me car. <laughs> Just I've seen too many, uh, too many disasters from it. But we've got all the right, all the good gear, right gear there. So it's going to try and get him up a little bit. Hope he's about to drive out himself. <laughs> Just pulling my ass and down into the sand there. Got me foot on the brake and everything. I've been up resort and I've stepped in and <laughs> put some recovery boards down. So I've got, uh, got two boards at the front there. Because, uh, yeah, his rear diff lock's not kicking in, so it's just the front turning. But she's a big girl to get stuck in the sand. <laughs> All right, there you go. Go try and let him uh, have a bit of a drive from there. I've got it now on, buddy. Sunk me into a hole. That's how you do it.
quickly wanted to show you guys uh, where we're staying while we're down here near Denmark. So this is called, it's called Rush Cutters, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's on Wiki Camps and is it on Hip Camps? I don't know. We found on Wiki Camps. So, yeah, twenty bucks cash a night. Uh, lovely, lovely uh, Ruth uh, has a name for the property here. But have a look at this. We've just, <laughs> we're so close to missing the gold now. This was just it's shining through there. before we literally missed it by like sixty seconds. <laughs> we just uh, quick add some uh, cheeky chicken calves on the Weber and can. Uh, I'm like, quick, you need to get outside and, uh, and see this. So we're watching it through the windows, just glowing on the van. It's beautiful. Just we be, we've done four days here now, so absolute love uh, finding places like this and. Turns out we've had a couple of people roll up and uh, meet some new people. So mm. we've got uh, Van Roman and another family up the top there. Uh, they've been chatting to us through Instagram for a while. So we've had to go up there and have a couple of cheekies of them. And I've just met these guys over here, uh, the Lifestyle Pioneer, Pioneers. So they're on YouTube and that as well. So just met them. Them. So uh, yeah, it's awesome. It's sort of, everyone's uh, out and about. Yeah, everyone's sort of around here. So magic area. Again, we'll uh, give you a little bit of a look around here. This is where we've been, where we've been staying. Uh, and yeah, absolute magic place in here. So. Pretty much from tomorrow, we're going to be heading a bit more east uh, onto onto Albany. Albany. 